Welcome back to Gray and Gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am going to show you two ways to use a flat iron. Um, there's actually three ways to use a flat iron. Maybe I should do that. Okay, three ways to use a flat iron um, to achieve the look that you want to get with your hair. Um, I just got done blow drying my hair and I'm using my um, little mini blow dryer here, which I put down in the description box below. And it, this is what it looks like right after the blow dry. It's been a lot calmer since I have been using um, baby shampoo in my hair, which is good. So if you follow me on my channel and you were using the um, Suave Clean and uh, Clear, what is it? The uh, if, you were, if you were using the daily conditioner, uh, no, daily clarifying shampoo and you felt like it left your hair a little too frizzy and you want to only use it maybe once a month or once a week. Um, it's It will calm your hair down a little bit if you use like Johnson & Johnson Baby Shampoo or Honest Beauty Shampoo. So it's kind of calmed down as you can see. It's not quite as frizzy after I blow dry, which is nice. And uh, don't worry though, this is a great product also for cleaning your makeup brushes. Excellent, excellent product. So if you did buy it and you were for some reason unhappy with it or you use, or you only like to use it once a month and they come in these honking sizes, um, it's great for cleaning your makeup brushes. So no loss there. All right, so, all right. So here are a few ways you can straighten your hair. Um, let me show you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a demo on one side and one side, and I'm gonna show you what, how you can use your straightening iron to fully straighten your hair and then partially straighten your hair. Um, I have wavy hair, as you can see. This is right after blow drying. I have some waves in here. These are all natural. As you get older, you may notice that you have a little bit more wave in your hair. Um, you may notice it if you cut your hair shorter. You may notice it if you grow your hair longer. Um, I don't know why that is. I had heard at some point, and I don't know if this is true, whether it had to do with hormones or whatever. But uh, so there's waves there. All right, so on this side, I'm gonna fully straighten. I'm just gonna put, uh, stick straight on this side. I'm using my favorite um, iron, which is the Conair Infinity Pro and I'll put this down in my description box. They have changed the look of this iron. I saw it in um, Walmart recently, and I believe it's like a really pretty burgundy now. They have two sizes just to let you know. This, this um, size is like the one inch size, and then they have like the two inch size, which is wider. So you do wanna pay attention to that because both of them are the same color. Um, but different sizes and you'll you'll notice that right off the bat so depending on how much hair you have is or depending on what you want to do with it okay so if you want to use it as a curling iron which I'm going to show you that method and I've showed you that in other videos before then you want the one inch if you want just a flat iron to flat iron and you have a, quite a bit of hair, you, you can go for the two inch if you'd like. I like this one because it does double duty for me. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive. So currently, I had mentioned in an earlier video it was $25. I think that was the old price when I originally got this iron. Um, I think they're selling for $29.99 at Walmart. Just to update you on the price the difference there. All right, so if you're going bone straight on, not bone straight, that's the wrong term. If you're going super straight on one side, what you wanna do is you wanna section out your hair. You wanna take the top section like this and you wanna pin this part up. And just use a little claw or something there. And then um, I have mine set on 15 and I have, um, I have fine hair, so um, 15 is sufficient. If you go higher than that, I think it's too much heat for your hair, and I think it's too damaging, so 15. So it goes up to 30. 15 is the midway point. If, however, you have super curly, tight ringlets, naturally curly, tight ringlets, and you're trying to straighten your hair, then I would turn up the heat for sure for that, and you're going to have to move a little bit slower. But this is what I do to straighten my hair. 
I go down like this and I'm moving quite rapidly. Um, if you have the ringlet tight, super tight hair, you'll want to grab here and you'll want to move really super slow through your hair on the higher heat setting. But if you have fine to medium hair like myself, you can move, you can just stick it in and move it quite rapidly. That will keep your hair from taking on too much heat. It's not necessary. So then you want to drop another section, a uh, section section so you're just going to do that and you're just going to put up that section and you're just going to drop another section and you're going to go again and this will give you a nice sleek look if you're looking for a very um, modern bob like look like that very classic classic look i've got a little bit of my um my bangs in there so I just go through like that and then you drop another section. I usually try to do it in four sections. The more you section it out, the better it's going to come out. This is kind of the trick the hair, hairdressers do um, is they section out your hair. All right, so and then here's the top. This is the last section. And what you want to do with this section, since it's closer to the root and you don't want frizzy roots, you want to put your iron right up against your root, but go move quickly. Don't keep it there or otherwise it'll, it'll make a dent in your hair. All right, so that's the side. If you want a nice, sleek bob look like that, that's how you do that. Now, on this side, uh, I'll do it a little bit different so that you can see the difference. See how poofy my, my bangs are? But you might like that. You may like that. So we're going to keep a little bit of that going on by just moving it real quick like that. We're just going to, there we go, just like that. All right, so this side, I don't want it so straight. I just want it a little smoother. So what I what you do is you do not section it out at all. You just grab an underneath part of your hair like this, let that fall. You'll have to tilt your head and you stick it in and you just smooth it out like this. And you just randomly grab sections like this up there at the hairline where you want that smooth and you just pull it through. And you'll notice how quickly I'm doing this. That's all we're doing. We're just skimming it. I'll call it skimming. We'll have to create names for these type of things that I do. We're just skimming it. We're just going to move around the back and we're just going to skim it. It's almost like we're using the iron as a brush, a heat brush, and just moving it through. And you can do the underneath if you want, but I'm just, okay, like that. And that's generally what I do if I'm going to be putting my hair up for the day. And the reason I do this is because I want these ends in front and on top to be smooth so that when I put my hair up, so that when I pull my hair back to put it up, I'll have smoothness here, I'll have smoothness up here, and less frizz up here. So if you, even if you go with the half up or an all up, that's what I normally do. And it, smooth it smooths it out and um, smooths your bang out a little bit, but it leaves the body in there. If you notice the body on this side versus this side. So that's what I do on the daily. I just use it almost like a hot brush and run it through. And you see that there is a huge difference between how this lays and how this lays. So it's this still has some body left in it and that's better for me when I put it up because if I smooth it too smooth and I put it up it tends to fall out of whatever I do whatever do I stick it up in so um, so those are the those are two ways to straighten now if you want to curl which is our third option with this particular iron because it has the rounded edges here to curl and uh, let's see you've seen this in other videos you want to grab it like this and then you want to go half shaft and twist and be careful where your fingers place here it is hot and then pull it through like that and that will give you just a very beautiful bouncy curl 
Um, and you can make your curl more tubular if you'd like. And these are, let's see, let's grab two inch sections here. It's a little bit more than two inch, but I would go with two inch sections, something like that. And just put it in like this. And if you want to go more tubular, then draw, run it through. See how I'm pulling it through? And I just keep moving. Now I'm pulling straight down like this. If you do that, then you see you get this spiral ringlet if you pull it down. And the difference is, so let me do that again so you can see the difference. Okay, so on this one, I've got a lot more hair here too. Let's reduce that. I go half shaft and I turn and I just smooth it and I bring it through and out. And then on the tubular one, see how nice and tubular that is? So you don't need one of those fancy, you know those styling curler things where you stick your hair in and it's automatic and it pulls it in and turns it. You don't really need that. This one will do it, and this will do it on long hair, too. So you'll grab a little two-inch section here, and you'll put it in just like you did the other one. Here, go down about, mm, look at that, that's like two inches, right? And then start turning. Watch your finger placement on top. These are hot. And then when you're done and the hair is almost through, the, then pull it straight down like that. And that will give you the turb the the tubal tubal the, t the tube like curls. So, all right. So that is three ways you can use this particular flat iron. That's why I love it so much. And um, I'm going to go get my smaller iron to show you that for you ladies out there who have shorter hair. All right. So for those of you who have shorter hair, I have this cute little mini and I got this at Sally Beauty Supplies. So this is the Ion Titanium Platinum and it is mini and I will show you in comparison. I should plug it in for you all so you can see how this little guy works. Okay, so he's a mini and uh, very much smaller than this one but very similar in shape and also has the rounded edges here so you can do the same thing with the mini as you can with the conair pro now you'll see other brands out there you'll see remington i prefer the conair the reason i prefer the conair is because it does go up to a higher heat setting you want something with a range that goes up to 350 to 400 that way you have versatility with it whether you're using it on very thick hair or you can dial it down for very thin hair fine hair um, because you don't want to damage your fine hair and you can also use a, a heat defying spray if you prefer before um, you start this process um, I'll leave that completely up to you. You can ask your hairdresser about that. Sometimes they have very light formula squirt in protectants that you can use for, for heat styling. All right, so this little mini is what I used when I had shorter hair. And if you follow me on my channel, you have seen me with the shorter hair. And, um, and this is also a great, both of these are great travel buddies. Um, they both are dual voltage, so they will go to Europe with you. Um, you'll just have to buy the little plug that, that goes on to the end, the, Euro, the European style plug. And you can find those at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, a lot of places now like Walmart will have those in the travel section where you get luggage tags and suitcases and stuff like that. You want to look for something like that there. And uh, this little guy comes with its own case, which is really great. I wish this Conair Pro had one, but they do, they do sell universal cases for your iron. So when you're traveling, it's great to have one of these because let's say you're, you just, uh, uh, just got into your hotel room and you're going to, um, or you're just leave, you're going to be leaving your hotel room and maybe going from your hotel room to the cruise ship or somewhere and you just got done doing your hair and your iron is still super hot and you don't want to pack it hot. This has the thermal 
protectant on the inside so you can pack it slightly warm and then it's got the little pocket on the back with the little elastic where you stick the where you roll up the plug and it actually has a velcro tie on the on the cord as well so it's very travel friendly love this little guy i think they still sell it i hope they do this also has a heat setting let's check this out all right so this one also is um 410 degrees so it goes from 300 to 410 which is adequate um, we're going to use it right now on the 350 setting it has an on and off switch right here and i'm not sure if i remember correctly this one may turn off by itself if you forget to turn it off i'm not sure on that though i will have to check on that it has the nice titanium plates as you can see there um, much like this one and uh, and the, the plates are the plates. Um, they, companies will try to sell us on the idea that there's diamond plating and somehow it's better. I don't think so. I think the plate is the plate um, on it. So here we go. And I forgot the cost of this, so I will have to put this down in the description box below. So this little guy, let's straighten out my bank here. I think he's hot enough. They get hot pretty quick. And again, this one, see that? It works very, very similar to the big one. It's just a mini. So if you have short to medium hair and you just want to straighten out a little bit or just smooth your hairline from here to here so that it's not so frizzy like that, you can do that with a little mini. And let's test the curling ability on the little mini. I never really used the mini for curling because I used it on shorter hair, so, but you can curl your hair with it, so let's see. Again, watch your finger placement up here. These plates are hot. I'm just being really super careful. In fact, I don't even touch that, so, okay. Let's, uh, let's try that again. All right, we're gonna stick it half shaft. My placement on this little guy here. All right, so it looks like it puts a wave in it. It's not as, as okay, let's turn it up. Let's see. Let, we're going to go to 410 on this right now. Just so if I see if I can get the performance out of this. It's smaller, so it's harder to maneuver than the other one. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do curls, nice beachy wave curls with it, um, but you may have to turn it up a little bit, obviously, and you're going to have, you might have a hard time, ooh, and see, that's really hot, so see, at the 400, I wouldn't touch this, do not touch this part at the 400, it's extremely hot, so you really, you want to be careful with this one if you're doing little curls but it works great for the straightening of the short hair and you can also move quite rapidly with this one as well like that and also if you want to keep this line where it kind of curls under don't don't go straight out like this because i'll do this you'll see what happens when i do this it leaves it kind of broomstick straight and i really don't care for that look if that's what you want to do um, that you can definitely achieve that, but I don't care for that broomstick straight look. So what I like to do when I start to get to the end is kind of round it out a little bit. That's where these this edging really works well, and that's why I highly recommend these two for these three ways, for the three ways that you can use a hot iron or flat iron, excuse me. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you, uh, I hope that helps in some way and you can play with flat irons and see if they are for you. I no longer have any standard curling irons because the risk of burning myself, I was just done with all of that. <laughs> so um, I really like the flat iron and it works well for all three things to make it slightly wavy, to make it straight or to give you really super tight ringlet curls. All right, thank you so much for watching as always. Click subscribe and we will catch you next time.